Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will show you how you can adjust your uh, in this case and Carl Zeiss planner uh, 1.4 and it's a 50 millimeter T-star for the C uh, I mean the Contax Jessica mount and uh, I will just show you how you can if there isn't an adapter just like this one from Litox to Canon um, how you actually can you adjust it so you read the correct um, infinity and it's not that hard um, well let's see we just need some tools a one uh, I mean two millimeter of, uh, JIS crosshead screwdriver and uh, maybe a 2.5 millimeter crosshead uh, JIS screwdriver. Those are from Moody Tool and I buy a set of four of those at uh, ifixit.com for a very good price. We will probably also need a tweezer and uh, dentist tool can also be very handy. <coughs> And a few, um, one or two cotton buds, and of course some nail polish remover. And to uh, finalize the, uh, when I put it, things back in again, we will need some Loctite uh, 222, which is the softest of those uh, thread lock. And it's good to <coughs> uh, be sure the um, focusing ring will not move at all. Now let's get into it. We need to take off the the front name ring which is in one piece. It will say uh, if you think okay I can only I just need to take off the name ring. Well it's part of the the actual uh, front ring and uh, in some of those uh, older uh, contacts Jessica uh, Carl Zeiss lenses they really used a lot of thread lock so and it was the same in this one uh, and I really have a hard time to actually get it loose but I found out that very very sticky workers glove um, something like uh, ox on is a flexible <coughs> basic 10 06 which is extremely sticky so um, and maybe we'll maybe we need to add uh, a few drops of uh, nail polish remover um, but it's really hard to get it in there you can if you add it uh, let's see if we can get it to, to work uh, I just use the the gloves but uh, you can, but uh, you have to really use some drops <laughs> um, and simply add it in here and let it suck in and it will possibly find their way into the um, thread uh, which holds the front ring. So, um, and maybe you have to add a lot. But not too much. Um, it doesn't have to go into the focusing thread. Um, so, um, but since I already had have this this loose uh, because I've been into the lens before. <coughs> Somebody else has also been into the lens before. I buy it. Um, but you really have to have a good grip. And since the uh, gloves are extremely sticky. You will have a good grip on the mount here. You could also put it on the camera. Um, this is just an example. Uh, we could just put it on and then you have a much better grip here and can get it loose. Of course this one is really loose because I've been into the lens before. But as an example uh, have a good grip on the front here and on the camera. And if you do not have a camera, I mean, you can, um, 
you can just uh, have a good grip on the mount here and simply unscrew it counterclockwise and uh, you will see here uh, there is really a lot of thread lock in here and it's the red uh, so it's pretty hard to to actually remove even with the uh, with the nail polish remover with acetone or you could also just use acetone um, which will also do the work but take care of the of the numbers and the the uh, letters here uh, it could damage them but uh, I think they they're really hard uh, when they make this now that was part of it so we will set the lens to infinity that's important just get rid of those here <clears throat> so that's the beginning and uh, then we could set a mark uh, down here in line with the um, with the index mark and the infinity so set a mark in here so you know where the position is um, before you take it apart it will make it a lot easier um, I mean it's not a problem here but it's more on the when we I take off the focusing ring and also the three screws I mean the three screws and a ring in here a spacer uh, actually hold the um, the focusing ring but it's good to have some points uh, I mean uh, if you if you get uh, lost in some place now infinity that's the important thing and then we can unscrew uh, the three screws which you can see in here there there and there now um, have a good grip on the focusing ring so it will not move <coughs> um, of course my lens here is actually I have adjusted to infinity and then set a mark in there but uh, I will just show you how it is done so out see the screws are tiny <coughs> so take care of them and the other one and and that uh, states the focusing ring will be more loose but since there is an stop something in here um, a stop pin it uh, it cannot move um, longer than infinity but the internal helicoid uh, I mean the uh, focusing assembly can still move so if you just move it a little and maybe get out of focus or yeah <clears throat> then it's good to have a reference point in some way now uh, it's good to have a tool to lift out the this uh, spacer here and the dentist tool is really good for that well we can maybe try to lift out the uh, with a tweezer can work now and then um, as you can see because you cannot just take off the focusing ring you need to take off the the spacer in here first and then you can take out the focusing ring so that's the uh, we'll just find a hole somewhere um, make it easier to lift it out and then so in that way and then we have a better grip on it hmm. haha <laughs> well <coughs> we'll manage you can just turn it over and then it flip out come out so and here it is uh, somebody has been in here before me uh, so um, 
and they set some marks here. It could be also in your lens, I don't know. But now, um, I actually, it's not necessary to take off the focusing ring itself, but this is just to tell you, uh, I mean, to show you how it actually works. So now I can take off the focusing ring. And here you see the pin, um, this little pin here, that go against the stop. So it cannot go any longer. But the focusing ring, I mean the uh, inner, uh, which will be the f middle uh, focusing helicoi, can still move a little more. Um, well, as you said, if, when I take off the focusing ring and it sets infinity, I set a mark here just to have a reference point. Um, so I know where the infinity in the original position was. And um, this is how you actually can get it the, uh, to get infinity on different cameras. Uh, it could be Nikon or um, Canon or Leica or whatever, if you want to use the lens on those cameras. So we can actually move it a lot. Actually, if you see on the back here, so it will uh, actually move um, maybe two millimeter or so, two, three millimeter. <coughs> and um, it could maybe fit on your lens. Well, I will just put the focusing ring on again uh, and show how to adjust it because you will need to, when you move the, um, I mean, if you want the infinity to, to um, well, maybe be adjusted away from the original uh, infinity, then you have to just put the ring on again. Uh, where did it go there? So, so <clears throat> the focusing ring sits on infinity. Now, to move it, I loosen the, the lock plate or whatever it calls and then move the focusing ring a little, maybe to 10 or 5 and then press it down and then move the focusing helicoid as much as it can <clears throat> until you get to infinity again. Uh, maybe it's possible to you to move it a, a little bit more until it gets to the stop. Uh, maybe it's possible to get it even more. So you can <coughs> move the focusing ring to actually get the correct infinity. So I lift it again and then press it down and then lift it again and lift it down. So, but I, um, I will just set it back to my infinity, which is, will be here somewhere. It could be different in your lens. Um, so I can just put the focusing ring on again and uh, put this lock plate, spacer, or whatever it calls, and uh, simply put it in the focusing uh, ring again. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter how it sits because there are three screws uh, where it sits uh, correct but I will just put it where it was. So something like that. And uh, it's a good idea to actually use some thread lock which will be the Loctite 222, which is the softest. I just put a little on a piece of piece of plastic, and um, simply add a tiny amount. Doesn't have to be much. So, and then uh, secure the the ring. 
So now that it's there, maybe I think it's better to use the uh, two millimeter. I mean the two point five millimeter for those screws. Uh, I have a better grip on the on the tip, so it doesn't have to be tightened really hard. So uh, just a little amount, and then. Um, I will just show you how it it could be done. Um, I mean, I think you get it. But uh, if I don't want to take off the focusing ring itself, uh, so I can just show it quickly. So now we are back again, and the lens is back to normal. Um, but if I should have done it uh, without taking off the focusing ring, I could just have loosened a little, just a few turns, maybe one and a half turn for each screw, so they are loose. And then the focusing ring will be loose, so you can see the actual lock ring in here will not move. But um, since I, in the beginning, set a mark here uh, in line with the index mark, I have a uh, kind of, well, it's not really so precise, but <clears throat> it's also, uh, it would also move when I move the focusing ring. So it should be something like uh, in line with the, with the, um, index mark. So if I found the correct I can just move the uh, focusing ring itself back to infinity and uh, then my mark here is back to normal. And then tighten the three screws. Not too much. It's, it's small screws but uh, so it is. So there, and then we are back on normal. Set it to near end, and then it's easier to put the uh, front ring on. If there is too much um, thread lock in here, you can just use a uh, cotton bud and some nail polish remover, and uh, simply c clean out the. Uh, I mean most of the thread lock, the old thread lock. So, so it will be easier to disassemble next time. So just screw it on, and that's it. And then I can just put it on my camera and say, mm -hmm, yeah. Now it's actually uh, on infinity as it should be. Um, so that's it. I mean, it's 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 not. That, I mean, you can always set the lens back to normal uh, because if you remember to set a mark where the infinity is in the very beginning, so it's not a problem. Um, so that's actually that. Oh, that was all for me. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the content and can use the info to modify your lens. So. That's all. Bye-bye.